Hi. Hi. What you doing? <laughs> what she doing? What she doing? So we watched the a tick. We found a TikTok. Well, I we found a TikTok where there's a bird that actually does that. Hi. In Toowoomba. What are doing? That's how I talk to our pet turtle to moan. <laughs> and this bird just happens to do the exact same thing. Hi. What doing? What doing? What doing? <laughs> I always say every time I come out in the morning, so I greet him. It's actually cute. I didn't know that. You didn't tell me that. I think it's cute. That's why then we say it to each other. I just say it because that's how I was saying it. I didn't realize you thought it was cute. I think it's cute. There you go. Well, speaking of social media, or well, welcome back. Podcast yeah, episode 15. 15. Podcast episode 15. Crazy. Yeah, it doesn't feel like all that long ago we were doing 10. It was in this house. It was, but it just feels bizarre that it's... Hopefully we've progressed. Yeah, the, oh, the audio quality. Yeah. In my opinion, hopefully. Yeah. We could definitely do with some more cameras, but that's we'll for get a f- there. We'll future get- budget. Yeah. <laughs> if the podcast ever makes any money. Yeah. Um, so talking about social media, um, I do a little bit of TikTok and it's not good. I spend a little bit of time on there. I actually don't. Yeah, you've been really good with TikTok, which surprises me. It because, surprises me. Because it's a black hole. And I have an addiction. Yeah. Jacob from work got me into it. He was like, you got to download it. We were in the car one day and he talked me into it. And then I downloaded the fucking thing. He sent me some TikToks and that was it. Black hole. I'm sucked in. Yeah, you are bad for that. Yeah. But There's, I'm bad for Instagram. You are bad for Instagram. But how bad do you think it is for you? Really bad. <laughs> so you're it's okay. All like, right. <laughs> <laughs> it, it depends, I think, on the mindset that I'm in, though, on the day. On the day? Yeah. What do you mean? Because if I f- feel shit about myself, yep. for example, like if I'm having a bad body day and then I go onto Instagram and I see these chicks in, like, little outfits and, like, I don't know, going to the gym or, you know, I don't know. I just feel like I then compare my body to their body, which is the Instagram, anyone that's listening, I'm doing their little inverted commas, Instagram perfect body or Instagram. Yeah, that's what I would say it is. Do you think men or women hold a higher standard for that? Women for sure. I mean, sorry, and I mean about women. I think women for sure. Yeah. We're our own worst critics. Yeah. But I think men would be the same. For themselves like, do you, or for women? Do you, for men, like for yourself. Yeah, probably. When you go on there. What do you look at? Well, my newsfeed is full of like people like Dimitri and Jocko mm. and like, and mostly space. Actually, I follow like s- at least 15 different space pages. Yeah. Like, I've, like I've got NASA, then I've got the Jet Propulsion Laboratory. So yours, at least you like you pick what you are interested in. I feel like mine, I need to go through and delete people because I do. kind of have had a bit of a shift of like the content that I want to see mm. now. But it takes so long to go it through and delete that. people. But you'd just be sitting there scrolling. But then the other thing is, like, sometimes I want to see just mind-numbing stuff. Like, I want to see someone doing a bloody try on haul on Instagram Reels. Or, like, my biggest thing is stories. Yep. I freaking love watching people's stories. <laughs> and, like, Sarah's Day stories and, like, Morgan and stuff. Like, I just like that. And it's awful. And I spent fucking hours on it. How long, how long did you spend on it today? I only just got the time limit. Today? Yeah. For, what, 30 minutes? An hour. You spent an hour. That's good. That's good? That's good. That's, that's not good. That's good for me. Well, it's, I'm glad that it's good for you, but it's not good. Yeah. I mean, they talk about this in the book that I'm reading. What do they talk about? It, comparisonitis. Oh, comparing yourself to- yeah, yeah. Okay. What was the book called again? Comparisonitis. Oh, okay. <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it might have been called something else, <laughs> talking about comparison. No, because basically it's saying, like, people see it in different channels. Like, you could compare yourself to – I could compare myself to you at the gym, for example. Mm. Um, but I think – so. and they, there's a specific chapter on social media, which I'm really excited to read. So because I know I have yet. a problem. No. Mm. Do you think you will go through and delete all those people you and change who you follow? I'm not sure. I should. I just do it as I become interested. If I find someone mm. that I find interesting, that's where I go. But see, what do you, like, do you think social media is good or bad? 
surface level? Oh, that's a really good question. I would have to sit on the fence, I think. I think I'd have to sit on the fence. Can you imagine our life without social media now, It'd though? It would be bizarre. It would be it's so, so bizarre. It's so strange. I remember I was thinking the other day, like back in high school, Facebook just came out. Yep. And I remember being like, this is awful. I mean, we don't really use Facebook anymore anyway. Mm. We use Instagram, TikTok, Snapchat, because it's instant gratification. Yes. That note, a little notification that somebody liked your video or, yeah. or watched your thing. or <clears throat> And all of our attention spans, mine included, are very, very short. Yeah. I've done a really good job at changing that. I made a conscious effort a long time ago to change that. And my, I feel like while I can get trapped in a short attention span thing, like scrolling through TikToks, mm. I'm very good at being like, okay, I'm doing this for two hours now mm. and, and, and lock into that. Even when I'm, there's a thing I did when I was driving where um, I heard it from Rob Bailey, uh, mm -hmm. who's another guy that I follow on Instagram, um, Rob and Dana Lynn Bailey. He said that when he gets in the car and he's got to drive from A to B, how often are you in a hurry? How often are you like, I just need to be in front of that car. Because then I can then I can like do the 10Ks over or the 20Ks over or whatever it was that I wanted to do to get to where I was going faster. Yeah. Instead of doing that, being like, okay, I'm driving. That's what I'm doing now. I'm not worried about getting in front of anyone. I'm not worried about how fast I'm going. I'm, right now I'm driving and that's all I'm doing. That's the activity that I'm currently undertaking and mm. don't try and change it. <clears throat> and it makes you like, as you're driving, you kind of be like, all right, well, I don't have to sit as close to that car and I'm not picking on you. you don't, I was like, going to say. I don't have to sit as close, as close to that car in front of me to try and get the gap. You but, know what I mean? Or, or yeah, or, or I don't have to. I think um, I've read somewhere or I've heard somewhere that even if you do do that, if you speed up to get in front of the car there, it's not really going to make much of a difference. No, you end up. At the time, yes, maybe. But that car's probably going to be right behind you at the next set of lights too. So then you just look like a dickhead. Yeah. For speeding up to try and get in front of them. Yeah. And that's how accidents happen. Yeah. And that short attention span, like going going back to your phone. Yeah. Like, because you can't. It's bad. Yeah. Like instant gratification of going, like going to a phone. Like it happens all the time. People do it. Yeah. I um, think I was, again, I was listening or reading something the other day where, and I think I said this to you. If you are watching a movie, for example, or like watching Netflix, and then you look at your phone at the same time. Like, clearly one of the things has lost your attention. Yep. Happens to me every night. You, yeah. I'm very bad for it. Yeah. And I'm, I, yeah. I don't do that. You do sometimes. I do when you pick the movie. Wow. <laughs> Why? What's wrong with my movie selection? Sometimes you pick stuff that's, not your, maybe not your movies, when we watch your TV shows. Shout out to Superstore. <laughs> if you've seen it. <laughs> It is You're a not. trash show. <laughs> it is not as good. It is trash. I finished it anyway, so we don't need to watch it I'm anymore. I'm so glad. <laughs> I'm so glad. Rude. So what do you think about, like, growing up, say, like, teenagers in this day and age with oh, social media? I'll tell you what. Like, with kids, uh, with as you become a, a teenager and then move into your 20s, a lot of people get pregnant. Mm. It just happens. Uh, it's it's always happened. It's going to continue to happen, and that's fine. But I am so glad that I was born before my mother had Facebook and Instagram. Mm -hmm. Because think of all of those people now with all their baby photos on Instagram and Facebook. I don't want that. In I wouldn't. I wouldn't want that. As a as a kid or as a parent. As an adult, I don't want. I wouldn't want my baby pictures all over someone's but I, someone's Facebook or Instagram account. I think it's kind of nice. It depends mm. how that person is using their it's, profile too, right? If it's public, okay, maybe it's a little bit weird. But also, are they, like, well-known or are they not? Do they just use their Instagram for their family and friends? In which case, it's kind of just like a collection of photos. Mm, I disagree, only because you don't just have your friends and immediate family on Facebook. Some people how do. How many people have you got on Facebook that you met once or twice? Or you are a friend of a friend and you were both at a party, had a got good long conversation yeah. and now you're friends with them. You don't know anything about that person really. Mm. I and started if, unfriending people like, like that. But, but you see what I mean? Like it's not. Yeah. And also Facebook has settings where you might not be a private account and you might not be a public account, but you can have one where it's like in between where yeah. your friends of friends can see your account. Yeah. Uh, but if you're not friends, you can't see the Like whatever. Yeah. So I'm glad that I grew up in a time where 
Facebook wasn't. A, yeah, I'm very glad. And I. Me too. I do get concerned though about teenagers this in this day and age. Like, I'm not concerned for them. I'm concerned for their attention span. It's just I can't imagine always having some sort of comparison as a female. Mm. Like. I'm nearly 28 and I still have issues with that now. I yeah. can't imagine being 13, 14, 15, like going through that age and then looking at people on Instagram being like, oh, my God, is that what my life needs to be like? Mm. Or do I need to look like that in order to for people to like me? Or Do you know what I mean? Like I, Yeah. You don't know anything scary. about that person's life. You don't know. 100% you don't. Yeah. They, might have, they might have grinded their whole life and then yeah. that's, that's why they're there. And their whole life might be a whole of- 17 years yeah and like it and like it like it and it doesn't or it could be the complete opposite mm. they got really lucky mm-hmm. dad has a lot of money they got a trust fund like yeah they parents won the lotto and gave them 10 grand and that's why they've got a lot of holiday pictures because they just blew eight grand on mm. five different holidays over three years if my parents won the lotto i would hope i'd get more than 10 grand they shouldn't give you any money they don't owe you anything <laughs> anyway um that but that what you said brings me to something that i actually i spoke to you about it the other day the um, Alyssa Carlson is uh, an 18. She's either 18 or 19, and she's just passed all of NASA's tests for oh, yeah. for being an astronaut. Um, and she's enlist enlisted to be one of the first astronauts to go to Mars. It's cool. And she's fucking 18. And the the where I saw it first, there was a picture of, and I I didn't recognize her because I don't care enough about the family. A bikini model. It was. Kendall Jenner. Oh yeah. And the only reason I know that is because I read the fucking article. Yeah. Not not because I. Is fucking... she in an orange bikini? It was orange or red. I can't remember. Yeah, I've seen the image actually. Yeah, and it's like this ridiculously skin skinny woman. It looks unhealthy. She does look it, unhealthy. It doesn't. There. It doesn't look like it's not a. Tr- so, and that's what made me actually ask you the question about who do you think judges more? Because if that was men judging her, like mm. the, to that bikini picture, you'd be like mm, she could use a little bit more booty. <laughs> She could use a little bit more, like she could do some squats. And I'm not picking on her because that's not the right thing to do. But I'm just saying she wasn't appealing to men. Yeah. She was appealing to what women think they, they, like they should look like. Yeah. Um, and on that, that's who the people are idolizing. Like mm. how many, I, don't, I wouldn't know, but how many followers would Kendall Jenner have versus this Alyssa Carlson? Mm. And she's a fucking astronaut at 18. Yeah, that's awesome. Like who are you idolizing? And mm. and like you need to pick the right people. And that's that's- like a brilliant example. That's why I've been obsessed with it. I actually went looking for articles about um, like how it all got started mm-hmm. because it's people like that that inspire me. Like that's who I follow. I follow Jocko. I follow um, Lex Lex Fridman is a artificial intelligence, like robotic engineer dude. Like I follow people that are inspirational, not follow people that look good. I've got some people on there that are just there because they look good. Yeah. But I don't idolize those people. I try and idolize the people that are going to make me more intelligent when I listen to them. I think there's been a bit of a shift, though, in I've seen, and I don't know whether I talked about this last week, I can't remember, but um, there's a shift in what people are actually posting on social media now. Like some of the people I'll follow, they'll post bikini photos or like active wear or whatever, but then they'll also do one straight after or like, you know how you can post two photos at a time? So one mm. will be like them all posed and then the next one will be them sitting down or like showing that they have roles or whatever mm. and being like, this is okay too. Yeah, there might have been a shift, but I bet it's a very tiny shift. It's becoming more. The, the thing about all the girls good. that you follow, what percentage of them have done that? It'd be a fucking Not tiny sure. percentage. Without knowing, it'd be a tiny percentage. But also I think the fact that there's more, um, and I don't mean to sound rude at all, but like the, like curvier, like plus size models that are starting to do Instagram things and that are becoming influencers. So Mm. it's like you don't actually need to be size four, size six, size eight. You can actually be a size 20 and be beautiful regardless. Mm. You can, but I also don't think you should push an unhealthy weight. No, but if that's just how they are genetically. Yes. Well, genetically is, is an interesting thing because you can be. Well, so someone that works out every single day, hmm. eats healthy and then still looks like that. Yeah. Their their body would still benefit from having. It does. And I'm not, and I'm not, because I don't even know the numbers that you just spat out. Mm. I don't even know what plus size is. Mm. So I'm not judging the numbers that you just, like, I just don't want anyone thinking that I'm judging whatever looks like the numbers you said, but those numbers could be stunning. I wouldn't even know. But I'm just saying at, at a point, it'll get to a point at some stage where it's it's unhealthy. 
and and and, and I'm not not even saying it like you shouldn't look like this. It's not good looking. Mm. Uh, I'm, I just I would say that like their their sleep would be affected, um, their movement would be affected, like all those sorts of things. Where um, sure they could be beautiful, they can be intelligent, all that sort of stuff. But they should also be like, hey, but I'm trying to get to here because it's healthier for me. But what if they can't? That's impossible. No, what, it's if, not the, what, it's if, what no if there's one... a medical reason that they can't? Okay, well, that's completely different. Do you know what I mean? Like, that's yeah. what I'm saying, though, that these but people live going, a healthy lifestyle. Yeah. But if you're going to the gym every day, like, it's just, and it's it's calories in versus, versus energy. So there's out. someone that I follow who has lipedema. <clears throat> okay, well, that's a liquid. So, like, for her, yeah. she can't. Yeah. And that's just how, how her body is. Because her body naturally, genetically, Exa- and yeah. that's exactly what I was saying. Oh, okay. Sorry. So, I, thought you, I thought you just meant you're naturally big. No. Yeah. Because there's, there's like people like the mountain from Game of Thrones who are like seven foot something. Yeah. And he can get down to being like lean with abs. Yeah. And he's no, like, he would be considered like saying. naturally big. Yeah. Okay. okay. All right. I see what you're saying. Like, li- was it called lymphedema? Yeah. Yeah. And it's, what is it? Just L- a lipedema? Lipedema. I think it's called. And it's just holding fluid, right? Yeah. I'm pretty sure it's like a, yeah, a condition where you hold. I, I don't actually know. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so, so, when you look, have you followed anyone recently? Like, is that is it something that you re- regularly change on Instagram? People who you follow? No, no. So it's the same people all the time. Mm-hmm. Right. They, um, that that surprises me because I change it all the time. I'm always like looking at new people. Every time I find someone on, if I find a quote from someone on Instagram or I watch a YouTube video from someone, I then go try and find them on Facebook and Instagram. So that that's the new shit that fills my feed. Wow. You know, what's another interesting thing was like, that's how I get all my information Mm. is like through intelligent people. So if you've only got quote unquote Instagram model Mm. people, like what information are you like feeding into your brain all day? It's just trash. But it depends who I'm following. Like Morgan, for example. Mm. Morgan, like Sarah's day, I love watching them because I feel like they talk about real shit. Yeah. But is it, do you learn anything from them? Depends what it is. Okay. That's good. It's good. I just I just think it's like it's really important. It's just important. different to what you learn. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I just think learning is important and I feel like a lot of that isn't happening on social media and not that it needs to. Well, so I think on Instagram probably not, maybe on Reels, but TikTok, there's a whole other world out there that we haven't, we haven't seen on TikTok. What do you mean? About like you can learn anything on there. You just watch pointless dog videos. Oh, I watch pointless dog videos and that dude who – um, that, that dude, he's like an African American dude, and he, the way he describes like space stuff is oh, awesome. That's right. I yeah, you were gonna say the security guard that dances. The, the security guard, security, security Steve. Yeah, yeah, he's amazing too. But now I was talking about the African American dude who's like, "Yo, the sun's huge. I'm gonna show you how big this bitch is." <laughs> like, <laughs> like that's how he'll intro but the like, video. People do um, TikToks on like shares, investing, like yeah, okay. how to do. This insert something here. Mm. How do you feel about that for a learning platform, though, with how short the videos are? Do you think that works? Yeah, I think so. <clears throat> because if they if it gets their interest, then you would think that they would then follow it. Yeah. So then be like, God, the way that this person is teaching is actually kind of cool, and I can learn it within five seconds. It yeah. wouldn't be five seconds. It'd probably thirty seconds. Like, a yeah, minute, yeah, exactly. Two or three parts to a video. But if you can get someone's attention in thirty to sixty seconds and teach them something that they would then be interested to come back and watch another video, you've done a good job. Or then to go out and look somewhere else. Like I think that's yeah. cool. That's the test of a teacher is not yeah. to inspire educating, but to inspire. Sorry, it's yeah, it's the test of a teacher not to teach, but to inspire learning, because you can talk at the front of a classroom all day, but unless the person actually gives a shit. They're not going to want to learn. Yeah. So if you can make, like you said, if you can make it interesting in 30 to 60 seconds, yeah. you've fucking done an awesome job. Mm. Um, yeah. I didn't even think of it that way because I've always thought, like I was actually talking to you the other day about when I try and learn something, I learn deeper than just like the five facts or yeah. the, the 10 things you need to know for good share investing. Like I try and find out what that is and why other people do it that way and all mm. the intricacies around it about all 10 steps. And then that way I've got like this deeper understanding of the whole thing. And that's the only way I learn. Well, that's the only way I feel like I learn. Yeah. <clears throat> Do what- you think that social media is going to be around forever? Yes. Yeah. Do you think 100%. it'll be the same as what it is now? No, no. It's it's constantly ruined by advertisers. Constantly. Mm. So that's all they're there. The the whole point of a social media platform 
is the person that creates it wants you to make an account so that you send videos or statements or mm. pictures to friends and then they open their accounts and then as they scroll through to look at that they view an ad mm -hmm. and uh old mate that made the app got paid so but see how many times have you actually bought stuff off facebook or instagram I've bought, I've bought one thing off instagram and it was more of a joke than anything else like that year that i got i got you a real i can't remember if it was like an anniversary gift or a birthday gift but i got you that and something else it was like a, it was a ring. I that, remember that. Yeah. And that's the only thing I've ever bought off Instagram. And I didn't take it seriously because I wasn't expecting a serious product to turn up. I don't think I've ever bought anything off Instagram. Okay. I wasn't even 100% expecting it to show up. Like nothing like that an ad has come up. I've bought no. things that people that I follow are selling, mm. but not, um, I don't think I have. <laughs> <laughs> You've just been called out. <laughs> no, I haven't from Facebook or Instagram. Thanks for uh, coming through, Denny. <laughs> I swear. No, okay. Well, then tell me what I bought, Denny, because I don't remember. <laughs> I mean, the, as I said, the only thing that I, I know that I definitely have purchased is things that people are selling. So Sarah's Day's eBooks, I've bought them. Okay. One, because I like her. Yep. I'm about to do... I don't think I have, Denny. <laughs> Just very quickly for people only listening, we're, yeah. currently, we're currently live on YouTube and Twitch. So uh, people can leave comments. People are leaving. Yeah, we've currently got Denny in the chat the leaving chat, comments. Yeah. So just so everyone knows what's going on. But I'm with Denny. I reckon you've probably bought I something. I actually can't think of anything. I think you are talking about yourself. <laughs> 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 I don't think it is me. Like, as I said, and I'm about to actually do an eight week program that I bought. Through that I found out through Instagram. I think that's different so, though because you followed Morgan, yeah, and Morgan was selling the product. Yeah, and that's and what I mean. Her, and it's I, her product versus yeah. a versus, random thing that's come up because it's just shit, right? Yeah, yeah. Massage this, gun. <laughs> buy this T-shirt that has a logo on it. Yeah, yeah. T-shirt with a logo. Have you seen the massage guns? Like Where the it, recovery ones. Like it looks like a drill, but it's got. Oh like a, yes, yes. Yeah. Yeah, but I've is. also seen influencers use that. Yeah, they use it because the company contacts them and says, mm -hmm. hey, use this in your video. Mm -hmm. And yeah. But that's so a massive selling point. Influencer marketing is one of the biggest, like, biggest growth platforms for, for um, well, I guess, growth funnels, whatever you want to call it, mm. for any business. Yeah, I don't know All if it's as- All the podcasts as, that I've listened to have said that. I don't know if it's as big as it used to be. Because I think, I think, I think people are trusting those less. Because anyone can get one of those deals where you get a promo code, you sell the product, and then you get a cut from that product. It depends on the influencer. Like with, with our whole of one viewer, Denny, and the 10 to 20 views we get on our YouTube videos, sometimes we get up, we've had upwards of 40 and 50. With those mm. views, we receive emails, people trying to sell us shit. Mm. Um, it's not hard to get like a promo code. So if you've got just like a little bit more followers than you than than a normal person, which all it requires is for you to post pictures in your underwear, yeah, like really that's all it is. Um, it's not that you're influencing anyone. It's not you've taught anyone anything. Mm. It's that maybe your titties were hanging out in a picture, and then you know, a hundred odd dudes saw it and followed you. Yeah, and then you posted a picture of your booty at the beach, and another hundred dudes followed you, and now you've got a I promo code. I actually would be very interested to know what. The male to female ratio of following for like the Instagram models would be. Mm, that'd be very interesting. Like, are you mainly males <clears throat> that are following you? Because half the time, all that you're right, all they post is like bikini photos or mm. like a lot of them are uh, fake. A, a lot of them are fake accounts too. Like, if you yeah. scroll through like a someone who has a lot of viewers, you scroll through their one of their top pictures. Mm. There's just like fire emojis. Or like that's hot. Contact me for. There's also a. I've seen that there's like groups of friends that will. They all like when they post a photo, they all have to go and like it, and then they'll comment because that shows interaction. Yeah. And if you get your interaction up, it means that you then get paid more. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Interactions is huge. Yeah. Yeah. Comments, likes. Yeah. Follows. Um, saving <laughs> is a big one now. Saving. Yeah. So like you save oh, a video. Oh yes. Yeah. Yeah. Um, which means that you kind of need to produce half decent content. I kind of like that idea over mm. over likes and comments because oh, even then it can be abused. All those fake accounts can still do it. Yeah. Um, which I don't like. I wish there was a way to filter all those out. 
Because we could there will I, always be bots and stuff. There. Yeah, I could post a fucking Instagram picture now mm. and just fill it with hashtags, and I'll get a heap of comments from accounts that aren't. It's not even. There's not even a person behind that filter. We get it on whenever we post something. It'll be like yeah. DM us or like on the Instagram page. It on the, yeah, it's yeah. ridiculous. Absolutely, yeah. So, okay, if you think that it's still going to be around in the future, how do you think it's going to change? I don't know if it's going to change all that much. I feel like it's one of those things where it's hit this tipping point where um, people, when a new platform comes out, a whole bunch of people rush to it. The first ones in usually have the bigger following. Um, that leads to advertisers putting their money there. Everyone else kind of comes along if the content's interesting enough. And then it hits this stalemate where people don't really want to buy the content, buy the products because they're not interested or they know that it's just trash because it's being sold by people who just happen to have the most followers, not by mm. people who are educated in any way to sell you a good product. And it just hits this like neutral point where the content stays how it is. Nobody's buying stuff on there and it kind of just peters like Instagram is right now. Like you can't, like if I tried to organically grow a following on Instagram. It'd be so hard. It's near impossible. Yeah. Mm. You've got to make a name for yourself. You have to be producing something of value mm -hmm. so that, actual real people see it and it fucks me how they're going to see it because i don't know about you but i never look at the explore tab of Neither my instagram do I anymore yeah so imagine trying to break through anything yeah you'd have to what you would actually have to do i think is reach out to people who do have a big following where they've got real legitimate people following them mm -hmm. and somehow if you can get in with them you know what i mean like like reach out to someone who has a following and yeah. and and be seen in some sort of way whether it's you provide quality content for them mm -hmm. or something where you get your name seen by real people because i don't think your name's getting seen by anyone on instagram it's the following you've got there's like thirsty dudes who are going to find women mm. there's girls that are going to follow actual famous women mm -hmm. like that kendall jenner chick which is a real shame because they should be following people like Alyssa carson mm. um carson or carson i can't remember but yeah, I just think it's a stalemate. What do you reckon? Is it going to change? Is it going to be around? I don't know. I want to say I think it's going to be different only because I've seen how it's changed from when we were, when we were young, because it, you know, it was so long ago, but I hope that for the next couple of generations that it's different. Otherwise the world is going to be fucked because like, how it is right now, and I'm, <laughs> I can't read that. It says as long as Hollywood, Denny has just said, as long as Hollywood fandom exists, it's not going to change. The medium will change. I, can't, I, I agree. Yeah. I mean, there's this new platform that I've heard of called Clubhouse. I think I was telling you, because you have to be, it's exclusive. So you have to be invited to yeah. be able to go on it. I've never used it. I think it's, I think it's an ugly way it's to share so a platform. It's so bizarre, but it, I don't it, know. It creates an us and them, which is ugly. There's us that have Clubhouse that have been invited. Mm. There's them that haven't. That's ugly. That, yeah. I mean, I mean, it might be a great app. I don't even know. But I don't it's just like it. it's an ugly, it's ugly from the outside. I don't yeah. Think I think Facebook it. will probably still be around. Yeah. More so for the older generations because they just post what they're doing. They post photos and stuff. My grandparents post photos of their dog, and I love it. Like little updates of what they're doing. And that's really nice. I think it's nice for people to stay connected that way, especially if you've got, you know, family or friends living on the other side of the world. It is a way that we can stay connected. Especially during COVID. Correct. I think Instagram, maybe not so much. I feel like it's kind of been a fad for the last, I don't even know how long it's been out. Five, six years, maybe longer. I'm but not it's, sure. it's starting to die off, right? In Probably a sense. Longer. Yeah. Um, but that's only because TikTok's been introduced. But because TikTok has been introduced, Instagram are now doing reels, which is like the same thing. Well, the same thing happened when Snapchat came along. Instagram started See, doing and stories. And no one really, I still use Snapchat, but I feel like some people, you don't use it at all. I only use it for nudes. Well, and you never use it. Exactly. <laughs> um, so, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I think it's all, it's all going to change, but I can't say what it's going to change to because I, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah i i don't know it scares me to think if we were to bring a child into this world to have that but then like there's only so much that you can protect them from and you also don't want to be the only person that doesn't have it i think as long as you and i don't know how this got onto babies 
No, yeah. but I'm just like I think about my brother and sister, right? Yeah. And what they would be looking at and the content <clears throat> that they would be looking at. Parents can only do so much, mm. especially when you're like, here, here's a phone. Yes, you can have a social media platform, but we can't actually monitor what you're looking at. The amount of online bullying that goes on on platforms like that is just absurd. Mm. So it is, um, but I have to stand up for, and I not a, like if social media disappeared tomorrow, mm. it wouldn't break my heart. But I have to stand up for it in that there is a lot of places where people who aren't good at making friends have made a lot of friends there. So while the, yeah, you're right, 100%, there's a shitload of bullying that happens online, mm. I think it's actually outweighed. I don't, I, don't, I don't think you've seen enough people who play video games then. Because there are okay, tons of people okay. who- Okay, so video games, though, I wouldn't class that as social media. No, no but, but you, you meet them through these networks, like Discord mm. is social media. It's, See, to me, that's not social media. Well, it is. It's it's okay. it's got it's got everything that Facebook has. You've got your okay, right. except for your own page, because basically you exist mm. as a as a profile, and then you have like you'll be linked to a page about uh, a certain game. Or okay. like someone that you follow will have their own page and you can jump on there and see what everyone is saying on that page and you can leave your comments and pictures and, mm. and GIF emojis and mm-hmm. and all that sort of stuff. It, it is social media, a thousand percent. And and you meet people in there and then you you start gaming with them and you, you're running around in a team with them and then all of a sudden mm. you've got these friends that are online and there's actually our TikTok, you wouldn't know because you don't scroll through it, mm. but our TikTok actually has, there's lots of videos in there where- um, some dude who plays video games online meets his like mate of five to ten years yeah. for the first time um, that he's only known through gaming. Like there's there's actually a fuckload. I don't think you see it because no. you're in the world of like Instagram and Snapchat. So mm. you only see and you and granted you have channel nine and channel ten and all that sort of stuff on your Facebook. Yeah. So you only see the negative shit that the media wants you to be angry about because, like you said earlier, interactions drives mm. money. So you're only seeing bad shit. But I'm, I'm confident, and I'd, I'd argue with anyone that disagrees with me that the good, in that sense, will outweigh the bad. I'd be interested to know what the stats are. Same, but I'm, I'm so confident because, yeah, the amount of people I've met, the first, like, when Fortnite came out, like, mm-hmm. I don't play Fortnite. I tried it when it came out. Um, when it came out, I jumped on and I got, like, lumped into a team with, like, three other dudes from Brisbane. Just somehow servers and internet, it knew where I was, obviously. It, like, lumped me in to play with people near me. Mm. Um, and I became major. I had them on Facebook up until not long ago. Um, it became me and these three other dudes, them, like, protecting me because I was so trash at first-person shooter games that the game stopped being about winning and started to be about how long we can keep Aiden alive for, mm-hmm. like, in this game. It's it's massive, like, getting lumped in with, with these people and becoming friends with them, especially with all those games where you're talking, talking. Mm-hmm. yeah, straight to them. I think okay. it's huge, yeah. So, the negativity on social media. We've already been talking for half an hour, so. You want to wrap it up? I feel like maybe we should do a part two. All right, part two. I was thinking of like what ways can we change how we currently use social media, if any. Mm, I'd like to talk, we could talk about that, but I'd also like to talk about um, news and what we were talking about earlier, like the, the driving of interactions and, and what it does for culture. Because like if you can post a really dumb shit on Dennis asking news, yeah, like, he doesn't watch the news at all. Yeah, I don't watch the news. It's trash. I, I agree I with you, though. I will fight the CEOs of all the news companies one at a time. It's because they They're only report on the bad things. Yeah. They will occasionally throw in a good news story yeah. to keep people, like, positive. But Nothing, Denny. Nothing. I don't watch any news. If I try and tag him in something on Facebook that's news-related, he it. can't see it because he's blocked them. I've blocked all of them. All of them. It is depressing. Seven News Wind Coast, Seven News Western Australia, <laughs> Seven News, and all of them. Like, you name it, they're blocked. I'm going to write down that we're going to do part two because right. we might forget. Um, so, we'll do a part two because I really want to talk about how depressing the fucking news is and how they've moved to social media because- But I think we should also talk about what are the positives of news. I can't think of one, but sure, okay, well- let's, we'll bring it. <laughs> yeah. 
Um, yeah, cool. We'll do that next week for everyone. You'll have to listen in. <laughs> Part two. Part Social two. media. <laughs> Let's see if Beck can reduce hers this week. Oh, the, the use? So I got my screen, average screen time today. What was it? Guess. Five hours. No, it was less. Less. Right? How good is that? How, how, how many was it? Four hours and eight minutes. That's not bad. Yeah. Four hours and eight minutes. That's what I thought for yeah. me. Yeah. Mine, mine is like two, but it, sometimes it goes up to like four or five because sometimes I'll um, have a podcast on and it's on YouTube. Yeah. And I have to like leave my phone open and on like at work. I'll have my headphones on and I'll be walking around listening to it, but I can only, sometimes I can only See, hear. See, I use mine for work though as well. So I think that's why yeah, mine okay. gets bad. Maybe we need to look at just the social media tab for how many minutes per day. Yeah. We'll do that. I don't know. We'll do it. We'll do it. So this week, because it's Sunday. Hang on. Let's have a look at it for today. For today? Just to wrap it up. We'll. Are we looking at social oh, media God. or? Yeah. I don't even know what to find. Here it is. Screen time. Okay. Tell T- me yours. Today I'm at an hour 37. An hour 37 on just social media? Yeah. But then I don't know what is classed as social. So it says I spent 52 minutes on Instagram. Nine minutes on Facebook and 36 minutes on my Move With Us app, which is the eight-week challenge that I'm doing. I watched um, – well, I listened to Lex Lex and Jocko at, at the gym on Facebook, so I'm not counting this. It says 56 minutes on Facebook, but those were podcasts where I wasn't sitting there staring at the screen. Mm. But Instagram was 30 minutes and TikTok was 20. Holy. <laughs> Go to week. So last week, what was your total social media? Total social? Yeah. Oh, my God. How do I go back a day? This is disgusting. (laughs) Tell me yours first. 12 hours 45. This can't be right. Why? What does yours say? Mine says 19. (laughs) But that can't be right. For social? Yeah, that can't be right. Oh, it's counting. It's counting messages. Yeah, it does that. I think we need to categorize properly, but- Yeah, we'll categorize properly and then we'll do it again next week. Fucked up. Danny, if you're still here, how's the actual uh, quality of the video? I need to go put dinner on. But on that news, we'll wrap this podcast up. Thank you so much for hanging out. Yeah, thank you. We'll do Um, part two next week. Something we don't usually do, but I'm going to do it this time. Quality's perfect. Thank you so much. Uh, Something I want to do is ask people if they could subscribe to the YouTube channel. We do need to do that. Or Twitch or- Follow us on Spotify, whatever you're listening to us on. Uh, it'd be awesome if you could follow us there. That'd be great. And maybe if there's something that you want to listen to us 100%. talk about, 